How do you practice your listening skills? Do you watch TV shows, movies, or YouTube videos in English? Practicing listening skills is a lot of fun. It's probably what most English students enjoy practicing the most. But what if it's not a good time to be staring at a screen? Or what if you're in a place where the internet connection is not that good? What do you do then? Have you tried podcasts? That's what we're going to talk about today. First, don't forget to like this video, okay? And leave a comment. Tell me what podcasts you like to listen to. If you know someone who's learning English, share this video with them. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell. That way, you'll get an email when I post new videos. Hey there, I'm Patricia from Ivy League English. I help adults to improve their conversation skills in English so that they can travel, go to school abroad, or work with native English speakers. Today, I'm going to tell you about six podcasts that can help you to practice your listening skills. These are podcasts for native speakers, so the speakers are using natural English. I just chose the ones that I thought would be easiest for you to understand. When you listen to these podcasts, don't worry about understanding every single word, okay? First, just see if you can understand the general story. Then, if you see that there are certain words that you need to look up to understand the story, you can do that. Here's another thing to remember. As an English student, you absolutely should be listening to these podcasts more than once to make sure you understand everything or as much as you can. That's a part of learning. So don't feel badly about not understanding everything after your first time listening. The first podcast is called Pop Culture Happy Hour. This podcast is about American culture and current events, the things that are happening in our country right now. Some of the recent episodes are about the Super Bowl, the Academy Awards, and a new TV show called, well, I don't remember what it's called, but if American culture and current events are things that interest you, this might be a good podcast for you to try. The episodes are about 20 to 30 minutes long, and the two hosts speak very clearly, which should make it easier for you to understand them. The second one is called Keep Your Daydream. This podcast is about people who leave their normal lives to pursue their dreams of traveling the world. It includes a lot of interviews, so you'll get to hear a variety of English accents. You'll also hear about all kinds of travel adventures, so you'll learn useful vocabulary related to that. The episodes of this podcast are anywhere from 20 to 60 minutes long, and although the host of this show doesn't have the clearest speech, it is very natural, so it's a good example of how some native speakers really talk. The third one is The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. This is another podcast about American culture and current events, but this one focuses more on politics than on pop culture. So if you want to know why the U.S. government was shut down for weeks, this might be the podcast for you. It's also a comedy. Humor can be difficult to understand in a foreign language, but if you want to get better at that, you've got to practice. Trevor Noah is incredibly funny. I've been a fan of his for probably 10 years now, so I definitely recommend this one. Fourth, we have Totally Awesome Films. 
This podcast is obviously about movies. The host reviews recent movies that he thinks are awesome. And he also talks about how the films were made, which is pretty interesting. This guy definitely prefers action films, so if that's what you're into, check this podcast out. You might like it. The episodes are about 30 to 60 minutes long. Fifth is Tumble Science Podcast for Kids. This podcast is for the science lovers out there. I chose a kid's podcast because science is a subject that has some very specific vocabulary, but a kid's podcast will take the time to explain some of the harder words. That way, you can learn the vocabulary that we use to talk about science. The other interesting thing about this podcast is that kids are involved. You'll get to hear how kids speak, which is great practice as you become a more advanced English student. These episodes are on the shorter side, usually not longer than 20 minutes or so. And lastly, we have Stories Podcast, a free children's story podcast for bedtime, car rides, and kids of all ages. That's a long title. Okay. This is the best podcast for less experienced students. It's another podcast for kids, so the vocabulary and grammar will be a little simpler. If you already watch kids' stories on YouTube or somewhere else online, this is a great podcast for you. Why? This podcast has no video, so you won't have any pictures to help you figure out what's happening in the story. You'll have to rely completely on your listening skills, and that's more of a challenge. Okay, so here are a couple of tips for you about learning English from podcasts. First, a lot of podcasts have transcripts available. The transcript is everything that's said in the episode, written down or typed in a document. If you have a transcript, my suggestion is that you listen first without the transcript and see how much you understand. Then, listen again with the transcript to help you understand better. Second, remember that these podcasts are for native speakers, not students. If you're looking for a podcast that is specifically for English students, then you should definitely stay tuned for the Ivy League English podcast. That's right, guys, it's coming soon. Until then, have fun with these podcasts. Don't forget to like this video if it helped you out and share it with a friend. Leave a comment also. Tell me what podcasts you listen to. And remember to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you get an email whenever I post a new video. Have a great day, guys.